Hello, Galaxy! I'm Chris Perillo, getting ready to listen to Apple's announcements related to the next array of iPhone hardware, assumedly. Uh, we will also likely hear about the soon-to-be public version of iOS, uh, the iteration known as iOS 11. And I am streaming this live to uh, the patrons who support me on chrisperillo.com. I've been doing my best uh, over the past little while to uh, give them at least one unique perspective or bit of advice or uh, discovery in the news um, and, and pretty much gave these bits of advice to them alone. So if you're interested largely in my tech perspectives, you can head over to chrisperillo.com and support me that way. Uh, quite honestly, it just it boiled down for me uh, not just being in a situation where there is a lot of the same stuff out there, but really I kind of got tired of giving away my advice and perspectives for free. Uh, so I'm very grateful for those who do have the faith and uh, who have continued to support me on chrisperillo.com. I've uh, had an open door policy in the sense that if, uh, if those uh, patrons want me to talk about something specific, they only need to ask the question. Um, I have been having quite a busy morning uh, as well. I don't know if you caught the uh, gigantic news, but it's pretty much eclipsed everything that Apple is about to announce, and that is that J.J. Abrams is now set to write and direct Episode 9. Uh, I uh, have already recorded my hot take. I did that live for the public for free, so you can't whine that I don't do things for free anymore uh, because I do plenty of free things. Uh, in fact, you know, it's my uh, intention to uh, make this particular live stream after it's live public for everybody to watch. But uh, the Star Wars news, I'm sorry, has just completely taken the wind out of Apple's sails as far as I'm concerned. Uh, and that's, you know, it seems, uh, it seems appropriate. Um, a Apple's news has already uh, leaked. And quite honestly, uh, if, if, if we were to go by any of the rumors that have been floating around in relation to the announcement of the new hardware and, and specifically based upon my experience with the uh, beta software of iOS 11, at least, um, this is... This is... This is an Apple announcement. And I gotta tell you, I... Uh, I'm far more interested in the Star Wars news for a lot of different reasons. One, uh, th these next iPhones you're going to hear about are going to be irrelevant within a year or two. Okay, so let's just, let's play devil's advocate. Let's say they're not irrelevant for another five years. The next Star Wars movie that we're talking about is going to be relevant forever. It's never going to lose value. In fact, it's only going to gain in value. Tech was designed to be replaced and... Well, you know, I don't want to prejudge, uh, you know, uh, what we're about to see from uh, from Apple, but uh, this is um, this is very trying. Uh, I, I I have uh, very little patience um, with Apple anymore, uh, largely due to their complete lack of quality control in relation to software they've. They've really not done any better. If you want my hot take on iOS 11, it is slop on top of slop on top of slop, unoptimized, jank, um, half-assed design. If if you would call it a design, uh, they don't know what to stick to. If you ever if you were ever curious about what design by committee looks like, take a look at Apple. That's design by committee. Now, if they decide to unleash a thousand dollar phone today, is it worth it? I doubt it. Um, will people want it? Sure, why not? But, um, yeah. Uh, I made a comment on, on Twitter. Again, free content for everybody. Um, I basically said, yeah, as far as I'm concerned, iOS died when Steve did. It's, it's, it's the truth. And I know people are sick of hearing that because it's kind of hyper hyperbolic. But, um, honestly, iOS is a shadow of its former self. It's like, iOS today iOS 11 is like a poor imitation of what iOS used to be. A not, it, it's like a cheap knockoff. And I'm not talking about the features. Uh, features are across every platform, right? It, it's, not, uh, it's not about the features. Features are always going to change. I'm talking about the implementation. It's never the idea, it's the implementation. Technology is not a destination, it's an enabler. 
I, I wish more nerds would get this through their thick skull. Um, and as far as I'm concerned, iOS and Android are exactly the same. Um, it, it, you know, you, you can argue, well, this is superior for this way and that way and this. And this is what, you know, always kind of annoys me when people try to suge suggest, well, what you should do is switch. That's a horrible response that is completely uneducated. Um, like if you if you offer that to just about anybody because as far as i'm concerned this if i could post an animated gif in a live video i would easily here uh, but i can't right now but it's effectively the jim carrey gif uh in uh, the ace adventure pet detective where he, he's basically struck with two sp two spears one in each leg right ah ah that's ios and android Ah! 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 That's that's iOS and Android. So if anybody had any bets as to how long it would take before Chris Perilla would yell in a live video about Apple, uh, you had about six minutes in. Did anybody? What was the over under on that? <laughs> so I don't want to hear about Android. I don't. This because nowhere in this video is 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 there a word that mentions Android that I can see. It's it's. Not the topic at hand. Uh, this is about Apple's um, uh, efforts. And in my estimation, it's uh, massive failings as far as software is concerned. I'm not talking about software that crashes. Yeah, sure, it's gotten better. But who cares if it looks like ass? And, and it doesn't run all that well either. And I've been I've been testing. I've been beta testing. You know, nine, nine iterations. I finally went to public beta, and it's, it's no better. It's just so wonky and ill-conceived and i'm sure p the apologists will come out of the woodwork well they'll fix it people have been saying that since ios 7 oh bless your hearts you just don't get it do you it's okay i am ready to go here we've got about three minutes i started this live stream 10 minutes before the uh the event began uh, so that we could get the uh, the note out to patrons because uh, the, the software and the hardware that, that I use here for the live streaming setup, specifically from the desktop, is also kind of half-assed. Yeah. My, my patience for poor uh, hardware and software is, like, less than zero these days. So let's go ahead and pull this up. Uh, if you have never watched me before, then you have no idea that I tend to talk a lot. I'm not going to apologize for that. But uh, uh, I will listen or be listening to... Uh, the event, as it's intended, uh, the live stream on Apple's website, which was impossible to find. Like, of course, I, you know, go searching for it. And, and what we have is like a cavalcade, right? Google, allegedly a search engine helping you find what you are looking for, can't surface the one link that every blog is listed to. I had to go like three links deep to find the direct link to Apple's uh, live event. Yeah, Google. Okay, I, I don't want to make this about Google. I don't. I know, because that's, those are completely different nightmares. Do you want these nightmares, or do you want these nightmares? Is it is it possible to live in a world without either? I ask you this. So you wonder why I'm more excited about Star Wars. I tell you what, I get a hell of a lot more engagement with my Star Wars community than the tech community. That is for sure. Um, even with those who aren't happy with the J.J. Abrams news, um, Star Wars Radar uh, has been going like gangbusters. Uh, if you're not following Star Wars Radar and you are a Star Wars fan, uh, I basically uh, took over the account a couple of weeks ago. It's got 48,000 followers on Twitter, now has a YouTube channel, also Instagram, Facebook, etc. Tons of Star Wars, like all the time. But the, I'm serious, like in my all my years on Twitter or doing things in the community, I've never had a better experience uh, with the subject matter than with the Star Wars Radar. So I put the links in the video description, or they should be, um, just in case that is far more fascinating to you. Because it is to me. And I'm still waiting. It's like we're now, we're at 10 o'clock, but it says the live video is going to begin, but I'm hitting refresh and all I see is the Apple icon, so I, I don't know if it's going to be a minute late. Ah, no, it isn't. It's it's up. They, they started it like right on time. Okay, let's go ahead and go full screen. I'm going to go ahead and put on my cans. Oh, so this is just uh, effectively behind the scenes there, uh, at Apple's new headquarters, the mothership, in the Steve Jobs Theater. How ironic. I'm serious. Apple is... Apple is different. This isn't the Apple that I fell in love with. 
and and now I'm completely disenfranchised. There's and there's no you can't argue. Oh, there's a replacement, or just use X. No, 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 no. That's not how it works. Um, moreover, you know, I'm, I'm one of the very few who actually tries to hold Apple's feet to the fire. Every other tech apologist, you know, is going to scream that this is the best thing ever. Whatever it is, that's not me. If you're looking for navel gazing, go somewhere else. Then again, you know, you got to ask yourself, did I come here to listen to Chris's opinions or did I come here to have him validate mine? I'm not here to validate your opinions. Not my job. Not my position. All I have is my integrity, right? If I don't tell you my truth, I'm not doing you a service. If I'm not being honest with you about what it is that I see, what it is that I feel, you couldn't trust me. You shouldn't trust me if I wasn't honest with you. You shouldn't trust anybody, which, by the way, is about 99% of the people who do tech. They're not to be trusted. They think everything is great. Oh, it's tech. It's awesome. That's not how it works. This is so painful. So the, they're saying, welcome to the Steve Jobs Theater. This is why it's painful, because th this Apple is not, it's not in Jobs' image. The slop that I've seen in the software doesn't, doesn't do his memory justice. If they just, if Apple, if Apple just remembered where it came from, what Jobs did and why it worked, his attention to detail is gone. This actually angers me. It really does. They're, they're playing on the emotional card, right? Which is fine. Honor his memory, but don't honor his memory by building a theater. Honor his memory by creating good software. They've lost the game. You know, a Apple gives out design awards every so often. They don't deserve one. I've been saying this for years, since iOS 7. And you know what? I'm not on Apple's payroll. I don't owe them any feedback. They're obviously not listening. No, I'm not wearing my Apple Watch. Cook takes the stage... Everybody seems happy, which is fine, you know, the, the whole reality distortion field thing. Honor his memory by doing good. Create something worthy of his attention. iOS 11 ain't it. And I, I, I pray, and I'm not a praying guy, being agnostic, uh, that whatever they roll out with this alleged design with the little bump at the top does not look half as bad as it seems to look at a distance. Without good software, good hardware is irrelevant. And the good hardware you're using today will be irrelevant in three years. <coughs> There's a reason I don't uh, have a lot of tech around me. I'm a minimalist when it comes to technology. <coughs> <coughs> T went down the wrong pipe. <coughs> Not a day goes by that you don't think about him, Tim, really? Doesn't seem to be the case when it comes to your uh, software ethos or lack thereof. Yeah, you could say the magic's gone. <laughs> They're resting on their laurels. That's the problem. I'm not talking about features. The hardware is nothing without software, and the software, as far as I'm concerned, is a C- minus at best. So much slop. Throwing better hardware at crappy software still gives you a crappy experience. So this is he's he's uh, uh he's placating. He's uh these are platitudes. It's it's an honorable position to take, uh, Tim. But these are platitudes. They don't mean anything. They mean that you've got jo a job and security and that you're able to create products for other people, but create products that look good and work well. The problem is, is most of this industry focuses on what it looks like, not what it runs like. They ignore experience. I never have, and I never will. It's the reason I was never a gadget guy. Never! Because most of it's crap!
Why? Because the software sucks. So if you want to listen to Tim talk about Steve and remember Steve, that's fine. But I'm sitting here telling you, they're, they're not doing justice to his memory. And I don't think many people would say that. Because, you know, ooh, we can't, we, we shouldn't say that. We should honor Steve Jobs. Hey, honor his memory, man. Like, truly. And the software doesn't show it. What pulled me into Apple's ecosystem wasn't the hardware, necessarily. It's never been about the hardware. Now it's designed by committee. I, I'm telling you, I look at one screen, and the pixel alignment on elements is so incongruous. That's not honoring Steve Jobs' memory. At all. Yeah, Steve's vision and passion live on at Apple Park. You sure about that, Tim? I beg to differ. Today and always, we honor him. Again, I'm not so sure about that. I'm not challenging your convictions. I'm not challenging what you believe. I'm just saying, let your products speak for themselves. And they do. And they scream volumes. We're here to talk about incredible products. <clears throat> so now they're talking about what's happening in Florida and Texas and the southeastern United States. Hey, okay, that's fair. A lot of flooding. We got a lot of wildfires up here in the Pacific Northwest. And, and look at California. I, I don't want to get into the whole uh, climate topic, but yeah, that's... Uh, that's a completely different debate that a few people just want to ignore. Apple's talking about its uh, the efforts with uh, philanthropy. Uh, philanthropy. So you know, I it was funny. I got tagged on a tweet the other day. Um, there was someone who was looking to save animals in, in Florida, which is, I think it's, it's a fine effort. And I'm like, I save animals every day. I went vegan. I'm a whole food plant-based guy. That's saving animals' lives. It's also, if, you, if you're looking to minimize your uh, uh, carbon footprint, go vegan. Like, if you're driving an electric vehicle, you're, like, doing this much for climate change. You want to do more? Stop eating animals. So now they're humble bragging about their uh, their new headquarters and, you know, they're basically inaugurating the Steve Jobs Theater. S something that you may get to at some point in the future. Something that you may want to go to at some point in the future. I mean, that looks nice. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's a thing of art. That is worthy of Steve Jobs' memory. That is, that is a piece of art. Their software used to be an art form. Now it's perfunctory. So you wonder why this feels perfunctory for me? Why should I, why should I, you know, throw myself into it when it's obvious that Apple's development teams are just phoning it in? Why? I don't know them anything. Apple Park is designed to be seamless with nature. Brings the outside in. They put trees in the building. It's cool. Powered by 100% renewable energy. That's cool. They have one of the world's largest solar, like solar panel installations. The mothership. <laughs> if if they spent the same amount of time and effort and energy and put the same type of just any kind of effort into their their platforms, the fit and finish of the platforms that's gone as they did their building, maybe I wouldn't feel so um, disenfranchised. That's the best word I can come up with.
well outside of uh, the RDF. The Apple Store has been more than selling. Really? You may want to tell your employees that. I don't know if you all remember my, uh, um, uh, I think it was the review or the reveal of the iPad Pro, the, the recent one. The employee that was dealing with me was trying to sell me on specs. I'm like, dude, specs are irrelevant. I don't care how fast the process, I don't care what processor it is. Does it work well? Does it work better? Yes or no? Is it a better experience? Yes or no? So they're talking about retail, by the way, which is not the news that anybody is necessarily as interested in as the new hardware. Um, no, so he said, it's got the A10X processor that goes at 50 bajillion megaflops. That means what to me? Or the average consumer? Nothing. Specs are irrelevant, man. I, I feel like I really, I feel like I've been, I know I've been saying it for years, but I have to say this every single time. Who cares what the benchmark is? A, it's synthetic. Uh, and B, it doesn't speak to a real world experience. What does that translate as? Don't sell me on features, sell me on benefits. That's like salesmanship 101. <laughs> but the Apple employee, and apparently wasn't the only one. Someone else tweeted me and said that this happened to them as well. <laughs> It seriously, it's laughable when someone tries to talk about specs and, and I have to pretend to be interested so as not to hurt their feelings. <laughs> now, see, this is... Uh, they believe... Uh, this is Angela up on stage saying that uh, uh, Apple's retail is one of Apple's biggest products. So they're revealing a new store design, which is fine. I have no problem with their stores. In fact, right now, the only reason I would go into an Apple store is they have the cardboard uh, cut out specifically for the uh, um, the Star Wars app. So if you go into an Apple store right now, I've been trying to get a hold of one of these uh, for myself, uh, but I don't think Apple store is going to be giving them away. They are largely going to be junked, but if you open up your Star Wars app, and if you don't have it installed, you should, um, you can uh, open up the new feature right now called Find the Force. And what you can do with Find the Force is you point... This is AR, right? And I'm, I am a fan of AR. Uh, really kind of excited to see what happens with AR kit. But you basically point your, uh, your camera or your lens towards a marker, uh, and then uh, an AR object will appear. The problem with AR right now, and this is what's, what I'll be interested in, in finding out, is that a lot of these virtual objects kind of jump and jitter around. Like, they're, they're not, like, precise at, like... You ever you ever look at AR? This is this is AR. That's AR. <laughs> That's my version of AR. And then it's it, then it go, and it comes back and then it's, it's <laughs> That's AR to me. It's getting there. I'm interested. I'm excited. If VR was like that, man, <laughs> no one would be interested, but AR, we can forgive it. Uh, so we'll see if Apple can improve on the AR experience. That's a benefit. That gets me excited. Not the specification. Not the spec. Not AR kit outright. It's what's done with it. <clears throat> oh, Swift Playgrounds. Uh, I did want to talk about that. I got my Sphero um, R2-D2. I unboxed uh, this one and the BBA, uh, BB9E uh, live on the Star Wars Radar Periscope. And then posted to the Star Wars Radar YouTube channel, dude. If you if you've learned nothing from me, if you'd rather, you, you know, if if you're one of those who waxes nostalgic and says, "I miss the Chris who was happy," head over to Star Wars Radar. Star Wars happiness technology mired in frustration. They're talking about their store ethos. That's a, you know, they're, they're showing a video now. Um, that's one thing I did want to speak to because I did have someone, bless his heart, and I don't mean that in a negative way, um, uh, uh, Ryan uh, Pearson said, well, you know, if you feel so angry about this and so frustrated and, you know, with your perspectives on technology and the tech industry, why not switch to this? And I said, here's the problem. Um... You know, there, there's there's no there's no set of equivalents when you're talking about one ecosystem versus another. You're talking about again, ah, 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 
ah, ah. Um, but this is this is one uh, one place where Apple I think leads the pack, and I think would would dissuade a lot of people really from uh, taking a, a a different turn with their uh, personal choices. Which, by the way, it's all your personal choice. Like I don't care what you use. You you've chosen to use it for whatever reason. I don't necessarily care what you like, right? I mean, I care about you, but it's like you you're gonna make those decisions for yourself, and you got to live with those decisions, and the shortcomings that come with them. Um, so you got to choose your shortcomings wisely, but Apple has stores. I mean, you can't walk into, um, as easily to my knowledge, apart from maybe a kiosk in a mall somewhere, a Google store. Google doesn't even know what it's doing with devices. Honestly, I know this video is not about Google. I'm going to rein myself in, but inevitably people are going to say, well, then why don't you, I'm like, because, <laughs> they're still talking about their stores, by the way. <clears throat> I don't know. I, I've gone to the mall so many times, malls, and didn't intentionally avoid the Apple store, but it's like nothing's pulling me in, that's for sure. Yeah, they're, they're doing some uh, some neat stuff with the stores, but, you know, the Apple stores don't don't fool yourself. Despite the marketing sheen they're putting on it, they're designed to sell products. Because Apple ain't selling products, ain't making money. Ain't making money, ain't around. Uh, you're going to love this. So I did... There we go. Actually, let me do this. Come on. There we go. Let me turn on night shift. Let's see if I can get it. I was going to show you. This is a... Just to show you the engagement I was talking about with Star Wars Radar, here's what I tweeted earlier. Is that too bright? That may be too bright still. Yeah, it's a little too bright. I thought I dimmed it enough, but let's go a little further. So there's a Star Wars Radar tweet, right? That's... A, but look at the engagement. I've never had that engagement with technology on Twitter or anywhere else. Every... Anywhere. That's the Star Wars Radar Twitter account. You should follow it if you're a Star Wars fan. This is more exciting to me. So what if you in case you can't read, I said Apple, we have big news today and then Star Wars, hold my beer. <laughs> Cuz they pretty much they just sucked sucked the air out of the room. I'm not the only one who believes that. <laughs> okay, we're we're we're, we're going to get to the meat of this. I hope this doesn't take 2 hours. <laughs> it feels like I'm just trudging through this, right? Tim's excited about retail. <laughs> it's the best place to experience your new products. So let's get going on what we're going to launch today, beginning with Apple Watch, which is a big deal. If you work out... Um, is solid, right? You know, uh, you know, and it, it, I, I do wear it sometimes. The, it's the funny thing is, is that you know, Force Friday happened last weekend, right? I, I assume everyone participated. Got my Thrawn. In fact, at some point when we hit a lull, I'm probably going to unbox this Thrawn. So happy about this. Um, but uh, I forgot my Apple Watch at home. But I was, I was like, not, not just working out. I mean, I was walking and power walking and everywhere. Um. But uh, I, I don't feel like I need to wear my Apple Watch, but I'm not someone who believes that exercise is the end-all, be-all. I think it's complementary to a diet change, but that's the thing is people buy people buy these gadgets, thinking these health gadgets, thinking, oh, I'm going to be more healthy, but they're not, right? They still make horrible uh, uh, like uh, dietary choices, right? But they wear an Apple Watch, so they're healthy, but they go to the gym. Uh, you know, it's kind of like buying a gym membership and that, that's enough. That's not how it works. Buying exercise equipment and that's enough. No, that's not how it works. If you don't complement what you're doing to enable a better lifestyle, it's just, you're wasting money. Um, I'm not saying Apple Watch is a waste of money if you don't work out, but it's, it's, that's the market. The market is specifically those who are intent on, on exercising at this point. The only thing that will change that in my estimation is if and when Apple, and they've been there's rumored re going on with research rumors around research specifically with an Apple Watch being able to uh, monitor your actual heart health, not just your heart 
rate, but specifically problems that may be indicative to an infarction. So, um, and, and other heart-related problems, palpitations and what have you. That would be, in my estimation, a game changer. That would make uh, an Apple Watch Apple Watch critical, uh, if only because of heart disease being what it is, atherosclerosis. Uh, one of the reasons why I went vegan is specifically for the science uh, that's been behind. If you want to effectively eliminate or reverse it, the one way to do it, one fantastic way to do it without going to prescription drugs is specifically a whole food plant-based lifestyle. Go vegan. Or, or, you know, don't and have health problems that you're inevitably going to have. You have high cholesterol, whole food plant-based. This is science, right? You, you're geeks or nerds. You, you should enjoy science and technology and its advancements. You don't need much. I'm telling you, man, go vegan. Or don't. I'm, it's up to you. I'm just saying. It's more than just saving the animals. It's actually saving you. You know, if you, if you think you can avoid the number one killer, you know, go for it. I'm just saying, if you want to try to avoid it, make better choices. That does not include just buying better technology. It includes using technology as a benefit to you, not a spec, um, to, to, to potentially save your life. But it's just a part of a solution, right? It's just, it's a part of the thing. Um, you don't just wear the technology and suddenly you're more amazing. That's, you're not a superhero. To, it's, it just doesn't work that way. You know, you may think you're saving everything, you know, by wearing a watch, but that's, you can tell the time on anything. What's an Apple Watch going to do beyond that? And if you're looking at monitoring your, your data, I think it's a, it's a fantastic, still remains one of the, the better options out there. But I, I don't think it's, it's, it's where it could be before I would be absolutely fascinated with it. They're playing a, by the way, a compelling commercial here uh, as a, a upselling uh, the, the uh, uh, Apple Watch. So, see, health is a big angle, but don't just don't don't just stop with wearing technology or holding on to technology, right? Which is obviously a huge benefit. Go the extra mile. You know, you believe in science and technology. Use it to your advantage. Read read if you want. Listen if you can. Watch absolutely uh, the the peer reviewed research and studies over the decades as to why a whole food plant-based lifestyle will do you better for health than an Apple Watch. It's a hell of a lot more affordable, too. Steve Jobs actually was largely that, too. That's not what led to his death. It was in, in uh, it was potentially tied to the work that he did around hardware and uh, the chemicals that he inhaled as a, as a younger adult. Oh, they're going to be talking about the watch now. That's how critical it is right? <laughs> for me. It's, I wear it. I do. Um, it's not something that, but it's not something that I love. It's something that I tolerate. Just like the phone, whatever phone, whoever makes it, is not something that I love. It's something that I tolerate. Just like this camera is not something that I love. It's something that I tolerate. Something that I love? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> you asked. You asked. What do you love, Chris? <laughs> Gym kit. Oh, they've got a new framework here. Cool. I don't have a gym membership. We'll never get one. Okay. Apple heart rate sensor. So maybe they are talking. Now, this is where it may get interesting for me. Heart disease, man. Big deal. They're doing three things. They're making enhancements to the heart rate app to give you more information. So you can see the heart rate just by raising your wrist, that's useful. Then you'll see, also see new measurements, like resting heart rate. And recovery heart rate. Okay, this is nice. That's good data. <clears throat> I 
I'm more interested in 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 hearing like saving lives. They're adding a feature. It's going to freak people out, I'm sure. Apple Watch will notify you when it notify when when it when it recognizes an elevated heart rate and it doesn't appear that you're active. Like, you know, you're sitting there and all of a sudden, "Oh god, I'm going to die." Then a heart rhythm. Like a like what would be an EKG. So it can detect arrhythmia. They're talking about how AFib is something, atrial fibrillation can impact people's lives. But many people go undiagnosed. And it affects tens of millions. And they think Apple Watch can help. Now this is... This is the feature. This is the feature that would sell me on a new watch. If it's hardware related. Now they've got something called the Apple Heart Study. Strength in numbers. Wisdom of crowds. So it'll notify you if you have AFib. You ready, you ready to raise your heart rate? Later this year, the uh, first phase will be later uh, this year in the App Store. Watch OS 4. So wait, is this, this all software then? Available September 19. Okay, awesome. So just use your, your, your existing Apple Watch. Benefits. Saving your life. That one gets a thumbs up from me. Until, you know, I have a problem with my heart. And then I'll be like, ah, turn it off. I don't want to know. <laughs> That's uh, willful ignorance on, on my part. Yeah, it's, it's a good upgrade. It's a solid upgrade. That software is, that, that, that was, uh, that's kind of what I was hoping for. In software, see what I'm saying? It's not the hardware, it's what you do in software. You understand a little more now what I'm saying? The truth that I'm laying down for y'all? Uh, the hardware existed, right? The software, the features, not yet. Now they will be available here in about a week's time. That's exciting. Uh, let's see here. Uh, some uh, Liz is asking if I can see the YouTube chat. I'm not sure I can. Apple Watch Series 3 has cellular. If you wanted cellular built into your Apple Watch. <laughs> Maybe I'm someone who likes saving money. That's the thing. Let me turn this down. I don't know if I can see the super chat. Oh, there we go. Live chat. Okay, I can. I was looking at the uh, the live chat there. Font's damn small. Let's do this. That's... Hey, YouTube, can you design the interface to be a little better on my 44-year-old eyes? <clears throat> so I'm able to watch the uh, the chat now. Apple Watch Series 3 and Apple Music. You can stream 40 million songs on your wrist. Which, you know, again, this is useful if you work out. or And or you have those uh, AirPods, AirBuds. AirBuds. 
<laughs> Someone needs to Photoshop that. Like, I've got my earbuds in, and then, like, two dogs, you know, hanging out of your ear. Earbuds. <laughs> They're not called earbuds, are they? <laughs> Apple Music's not competitive enough for me. So they got a new dual core processor, better performance, 70% faster. Not that I've found that it's slow by any means. I mean, I guess I don't use it, you know, as intensely as other people do. Siri can talk now. Don't know. In relation to the how much it costs and the value that I get from it, compared to like I, I'm never, I'm never without my phone. That's me. So, you know, having something that's uh, autonomous like this Series 3 Apple Watch, not as, uh, not as uh, compelling for a lot, of, I'd imagine, a lot of uh, iPhone or I Apple Watch users. So they're talking about outdoor activities. I don't, I don't know if they know nerds as much as they, they think they do. <laughs> Do they have a video game workout app? That's, you know, like, you've been gaming for an hour. So the display itself is uh, the antenna for your LTE. I don't know, dude. See, I could I could handle maybe the new hardware without the LTE, but that's I guess it's not a compelling buy for me. It usually means more money. Same size as Series 2, which wasn't all that different from Series 1, conceivably. At least that I could you know, tell by my naked eye. <clears throat> I apologize. They're making a standalone call on the watch. So they're just demonstrating the the watch now that you could call someone on the watch. I've done it, but I I still have what the second iteration of the first Apple Watch. I guess it's now Series One. Is that is that right? And it's it's ample. I mean, it works. But in a pinch, I can call someone. But inevitably, I have my phone on me. <clears throat> I'm kind of glad they didn't go with a video option. So the person who he's calling is out in the middle of a a lake on a on a on a surfboard. <laughs> kind of gimmicky. I mean like the approach to it, but I mean it just shows you what you can do. You know, if you're someone who always wants to stay connected, <clears throat> what will it do to battery life? That's another thing to consider. <clears throat> I mean, you're talking about more connectivity. I mean, maybe they got some software optimization to go with it. Honestly, but you know, in, in hearing a lot of this stuff, I, I don't know. I, I get, I'm, I'm inclined. I mean, despite it being a faster processor, and I like, you know devices that you know can give me a better experience if 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 the software can keep up with the hardware which sometimes 
is not the case. <laughs> I think, you know, just hearing the software improvements may be enough for, for me to just stay with the, the current Apple uh, Watch. Because I'm not, I, I, Series 2 had nothing compelling for me. Certainly not at the price. We'll see about Series 3 if there's anything else in here that fits my use case. My use case. Everybody's use case is completely different, naturally. <clears throat> But, like, specifically because, like, how often do I use it? What do I use it for? What do I need it for, right? Um, that's, uh, you know, even Diana. You know, she wanted the Apple, the first Apple Watch, the one that, that I got years ago. She never wears it. Ever. For one reason or another, right? Oh, I don't want it this. I don't want to get it that. I'm like, what's the point of having something you don't use it? It's like technology. Why, why don't I have a lot of technology around me? What's the point if you're not using it? Uh, like like my R2-D2 here, right? Like, if I did not use it, what use would it be? And, uh, let's see if I can get this working here. I, I launched this on, uh, they're talking about new watch bands and, you know, ceramics and the, the watch thing. Let's see if I can get this. I, I got it, uh, the, uh, Sphero app working on the iPad, but I'm listening to the stream. Let's see here. Oh, I may need to connect this. It's pretty simple. Except, oh, come on, really? God, what a disgusting UI. Uh, not, not Sphero. Sphero did a great job. I'm talking about Apple. Ugh. Yuck. Misaligned. Different font uh, settings. Uh, okay. Oh, well, still has 18-hour battery life, that watch. Two versions of Series 3. <clears throat> so they have a version without cellular at 329. But I don't know. It's just faster. Series 1 will be 249. It's a good starter watch. But the only difference then primarily is LTE, apart from a faster processor, which I don't know is worth it. So I'm scanning for my droids here. Let's see, if I, I don't know how close I need to be. It, or if this was... A, okay, that's, it is open. So they're launching across a variety of countries. Oh, man. My R2's got a low battery. I was playing with it too much. <laughs> like, it, it, if I'm not mistaken, that was really the primary difference, right? LTE is an option and a faster processor, correct? Available September 22nd. Mm. Don't know. <clears throat> Don't know. I was willing to jump from the first one to the second one because the first one was so incredibly slow. I just don't use a lot of apps. <clears throat> and I don't need waterproofing, so... But I'm talking from my experience, right? Everybody's different. Well, they're playing an ad for playing music on your wrist. Snooze. <clears throat> All right, jumping back to, sorry, I was checking Star Wars radar. Not going to apologize for it, it's just that, you know, got people who are excited about stuff. Well, you may be excited about this Apple stuff, you may, you may feel different, but again, I go back to like, you know, that's your choice, it's, it's how you feel, I'm not going to take that away, I'm not trying to take away from your happiness, man. <clears throat> I still haven't found any compelling reason to uh, uh, to get the uh, the are they AirPods? That's what it, uh, yeah AirPods. <clears throat> but I 
I don't like anything that I have to stick in my ear. I guess they're more comfortable than the ones that they, they that have come with the Apple phones, which I've ne- or the iPhones that I've never used, or I hate them. Oh, they hurt so much. I don't know. Maybe maybe with one iteration I'll be excited about it. <clears throat> Pardon me. Maybe if they were black, I'd be a little more interested. Maybe. But I don't I don't listen with headphones or head headsets, even wireless Bluetooth stuff all that often. And right now I'm just I'm tethered. But that's again my pattern. Oh, they've been awarded a second Emmy for their Apple TV. For how Siri makes it so easy to search and discover. Except when it doesn't work. I'm telling you, Siri is the sex panther of the industry. 60% of the time, it works all the time. I'm paraphrasing. I can't remember the exact statistic. Because, like, I have to ask it so many times, and you have to clarify spelling, and especially if you're trying to search on YouTube, right? Try to search for, like, Perillo anything, which I'm sure you never do. But it's kind of nightmarish. It's like, that's not what I said, you piece of... Now we're at the next major inflection point, whatever that means. One that has one that has the most stunning visuals ever. Stranger Things up on the screen. Can't wait for season two. It's coming right this month. Late, no, next month. So they're probably going to talk about 4K. I'm guessing. <clears throat> Apple TV 4K. Now all I need is a 4K TV. I think I have one. I think we have one 4K. Some people get excited about this. Eh, it's an iteration. I'm not sure how much 4K content I have. <laughs> if any, or access to whatever 4K content. It's a, it's a nice bump. Don't get me wrong. I Now I gotta figure out, I think, I, I wanna say, I know that uh, this... TV, which was Google's TV that hasn't been updated in years because Google abandons hardware products like you wouldn't believe. Oh, I'm sorry. I know. I'm, I'm really harsh when it comes to the truth, but Google can't handle hardware. It's getting better with the software-ish, but their hardware, they abandon it almost as frequently as they announce. I mean, investing yourself in Google hardware... That's none of my business. 4K HDR. Now that I'm pretty sure my the current TV that that we have one of the current TVs I don't think it does HDR. That's, that's another hardware, most likely hardware related experience. <clears throat> See, like when you go and upgrade your TV in another five years, this would be interesting. Maybe you've already upgraded your TV. I, dude, I we still have the first HDTV I've ever owned. And it still works. It's a plasma uh, screen. They've remastered their screensavers, which again, like a little bit of applause. People still get excited over screensavers. Okay. Um... So they, uh, they, you know, they're definitely moving the ball forward. I'm interested. Um, is it a game changer? No, not that I expect Apple to do a game changing uh, as much as other people do, or innovation as much as people say it needs to be. Sorry, you got to remember that when I'm talking to you, there's someone who's talking in my ear. So, I mean, it's it it looks like Apple TV in 4K. There's, there's really, I'm not, that's not a complaint, it's just, okay. Some people get really get excited about this. I, you know, I'm, you know, I can see the difference for sure, but is the difference worth, you know, chunking a TV or eliminating a TV? And more often than not, the answer is no. What do you do with your old TVs? 
No one else wants them. You can't even give them away. And to spend thousands on a new one? When the old one's working just fine? Like I said, I got 720p, a, a 720p set. From 2005. It's still, it's, it works. It's not broken. I'm enjoying things as much as I would on another TV. That's the thing, right? You know, it's, it's different for me. I'm also not an audiophile either. Some people, like, have me listen to, uh, you know, different things, and I can kind of hear the difference, but then I kind of feel like I'm, you know, fudging it. Like, oh, yeah, oh, that's definitely better. So, so they got the AT&X in, the, uh, uh, in the Apple TV. I mean, you need a faster processor to handle 4K for sure. So, we uh, we do, you know, I, I think we do have that for, I want to say it's a 4K TV. I, gotta, I guess I got to look up the specs. See, again, it's been irrelevant at this point because I don't have any content that's worthy of 4K. But it's a benefit, not a spec. So 4K movies, same price as HD. Solid. You know, see, see, inevitably, right? You know, when you get to that point, then... And if you bought a movie in HD, you're going to automatically upgrade it to 4K HDR. No additional charge. Solid. It's a very solid ecosystem move, Apple. Very solid. Working with Netflix, 4K HDR titles, adding those to Apple TV... Later this year, Amazon Prime Videos was earlier announced. But you need to, of course, have the, the uh, Apple TV 4K. So what would likely happen is, like, there, there's nothing wrong with the older Apple TVs at all, um, you know, by and large in terms of at least our use. Uh, but the one that we're using in the bedroom, if that turns out to be a 4K TV, um, we'll end up moving that the, the other Apple TV to, to another location. So it's coming later different countries they're adding local services they're bringing live sports so if you're a huge sports fan like Eddie Q is so now you can tune into live sports This may be exciting for you. So if you like sports and you don't like Star Wars... <laughs> see, that's the shoe's on the other foot, right? <laughs> I've never, ever, ever cared... I'm sure that's a compelling, you know, uh, uh, feature for, for a lot of people. Like, you know, the, the ability to watch sports live on the, uh, the Apple TV. My dad, I'm sure. My dad, he's, he's a sports fan. This, this is the thing. is like Apple announces something. It's exciting for everybody else. And I'm like... It's my curb, curb your enthusiasm, Jeff. <clears throat> it's still a relatively disjointed experience, and I blame uh, content providers for that, not Apple. I think Apple has tried to move that ball forward, but I think the, the legacy uh, legacy uh, content providers are dragging their feet. Well, what, what's the new news? Right, the news that Rotten Tomatoes is ruining the movie industry. Maybe crappy movies are ruining the movie industry. Is that is that so much of a stretch? Last movie I saw in theaters: Guardians of the Galaxy two, and before then, I think it was Rogue One. Um, I just don't. I don't see movies in theaters. I'd honestly, I'd rather pay 
the same amount and watch it at, at home if I can on, on release date. And there are services that may d do that at some point in the future. They're demonstrating the game capabilities uh, on uh, Apple TV. And it, it looks, you know, fantastic. I guess I'm not so much of a a, a TV gamer. I'm 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 a I'm a not vintage gamer, uh, a classic retro gamer, on that. But I know I, I've been saying this for years. I think Jedi, when when it comes to video games, I think Jedi is ultimately going to pull me back in. I really do. I feel that. I feel she's gonna, she's going to. Uh, I, I I certainly am going to encourage her, to play uh, you know, video games. Can you believe that? I'm a parent and I'm saying that about my daughter. Yeah, absolutely. I want her to play all the video games on any platform. It's not like, you know, this, that, or the other thing. I'm like, any platform. Just enjoy them all. Including my my, my retro stuff, like uh, the Atari things and the Intellivision things. Uh, retro, new, handheld, mobile, uh, desktop. Uh, maybe not... Maybe not a PC outright because of all the problems that come with it. Um, console, for sure. Both Xbox and PS4, and I guess uh, the NES, or not not NES anymore. What is it? The Switch? We don't have one. They're talking about the specifications of of the uh, the 4K Apple TV. I mean, it looks the graphics look amazing. The what was the question? D yes, but does it play Crisis? Like yes, but does it play Atari games? Give me a, give me a classic, man. I, I you know I can I, I I can play that just about anywhere anymore and I'm happy with that I'm very happy about that. That was always my dream. I mentioned that in the uh, the video we did in relation to the uh, crowdfunding the dream play uh, uh, what is it the replay the Dreamcade replay sorry if I didn't say that correctly um, the uh, 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 I have always I always dreamed of just one cartridge to rule them all right a cartridge with all the games on it you just plug in and you get all the games. That was a that was a childhood dream of mine, and now it's it's reality. We don't have cartridges anymore, but I still I, I collect those cartridges. I've been wanting to start the Activision cartridge collection, but I got to find good labels. And the problem is, is Activision labels did not stand the test of time. I have all the text labels that I'm looking for right now, though, for for Atari, the classic text labels, like the original. What was it? Forty two, forty four. Even with some variants. Yesterday, by the way, uh, September 11th was the 40th anniversary of uh, the Atari 2600, upon which I played uh, The Empire Strikes Back, the Parker Brothers game. I, I point over there because I actually have uh, the box of and the cartridge within the box of, uh, of that Atari game. It was so bad. Like, I mean, it worked. It would you could play it, but man, it was so repetitive. Uh, I ended up uh, licensing one of our Galaxar artists. Galaxar is the, the event for pop culture. Uh, that we did in March is happening in in October. We got over fifty vendors coming, uh, lic or not licensed, commissioned one of them to do the Atari, uh, the the uh, the Empire Strikes Back game, in pixel art. You know, with those little dots that they glue together. New Apple TV starts at one hundred seventy nine dollars, but you can get a higher capacity version for just a few bucks. So, what did it say? September nineteenth, you can pre order. Ships on the twenty second. Yeah, sure. I, I, I'm going to check, but if, if that's the case, I'll, I'll I'll upgrade. Because again, if it's a 4K screen, and if I'm doing things on uh, you know uh, you know on a 4K screen, I need 4K capable hardware. Benefit, not a feature. Benefit. Next up, iPhone. Okay, this is where I start getting nervous. Where's my heart rate monitor? <laughs> I get nervous because I'm really worried. I'm worried about this notch thing at the top of this next iPhone screen. The only fe the only feature that's a benefit to me that I look forward to every year in a new phone is specifically the camera. So give me good camera upgrades. My my primary camera, no no like this is not a, a smartphone camera, but um, most of the most if not all of the videos I record anymore are done on the phone. So and usually the front facing camera. Like I'll set up my. Uh, uh, the the iPad live stream uh, on Periscope uh, for everybody Star Wars radar of course and then record it on this screen or if I'm just recording videos specifically for patrons although I've been doing audio podcasts for them lately uh, on ChrisPerlo.com as well as CreatorAdvocate.com not to not to leave those out although I know a lot of people who follow me aren't interested in my entrepreneurial business advice um, 
that uh, uh, I've been recording uh, audio more than video for them anymore. But if I'm doing a video, it's largely on this. So give me a better camera. That's that's it's a driving factor. It's absolutely a driving point. But I'm concerned about the interface. <laughs> How do you accommodate this fugly notch? They did it well with the Apple Watch, with the LED screen. Like, if you take a screenshot, it doesn't look good. But on the screen itself, with the software, it looks good. And so this, the experience is solid. So, so give me something like that. I had to take off my glasses. I was starting to get, like, really... They changed the way people communicate. Yes, you did. With emoji. Give me emoji. I'm a fan of emoji. I, as an English major, someone who loves writing, I, I love emoji. That's a software thing. We're getting some really good comments here in the live stream. Sorry I'm not regurgitating them. So, yeah, Earl's here, Ryan's here, Liz is here, Soda Water's here. Love that handle. They're, they're talking, they're self-congratulating right now. They're, they're talking about what Apple did. It, it really gets, it's kind of nails on a chalkboard for me, right? If someone else is talking about you, it's one thing. But when you're humble bragging, I'm like, okay, that was... We have huge iPhone news today. And we're going to get started right now. This is where everyone jumps to this point in the video. Although when people do that to me, I ban them from ever commenting in the channel forever. Like when you say, the real content starts at, you know, this timestamp. Like, ban. No one's ever going to see it. Or you, ever again. Okay, it looks... Why, why is there kind of a copper finish? Eight. Okay. Didn't look jet black to me. <laughs> that looked like copper. This is a huge step forward. iPhone 8. And to teach you all about it, I want to invite Phil to the stage. He just says Phil. People know Phil enough that he's just on a first name basis. They didn't even say Schiller. Phil Schiller. He's just Phil. Punxsutawney Phil? It could have been. You don't know iPhone 8, iPhone 8 Plus. Now, here's a bigger question. Will I upgrade? Will I upgrade? And if so, to which one? Is the iPhone 8 Plus going to be sufficient for me with with the, 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 the benefits that it may give versus the alleged new iPhone X? Comes in silver, space gray, and a new gold finish. Dude, what are you talking about gold? That ain't a gold. That's a gold finish? Looks like copper to me. Oh, aerospace grade aluminum. Seven layer process. Yeah, what if someone comes out with an eight layer process? You can't come up with an eight layer process. It's a seven layer process. That's it. You can't get any better than a seven layer process. <laughs> Most durable glass on a smartphone. That remains to be seen. Although I live, I live with cases. This is the one uh, that Mophie sent with inductive charging. You know, you slap a battery on it. It's great. It's very convenient. Retina HD display. Mm -hmm. 4.7 inch display. 5.5 inch display. This is what we've seen before. Color accuracy. So wait a minute. We jumped from a 7 and a 7 plus to 8 and an 8 plus. So we're done with the S's. Okay, so iPhone's going to have a true tone display. Which, honestly, I, I guess I have... I mean, I've got it on the iPad Pro, but... Wait. Six and seven. Am I... Was I right? I've lost track of the iPhones. There was no S a, a, a iPhone 7 or iPhone 7S, correct? I'm not using a 7S Plus, am I? 
I've totally forgotten. Oh, they've got a, a, a new chip. Six core CPU, 64-bit design, 4.3 billion transistors, two performance cores, 25% faster than the A10, four high efficiency cores, 70% faster than the A10. So right now I think it's two and two. Am I right in the A10? So 70% 70, 70 faster could be palpable. Uh, second gen Apple design performance controller can now improve uh, multi-threading uh, uh, performance, 70%. First ever Apple design GPU. Okay, now I'm interested. I'm interested. That's that's interesting to me because Apple designing its own chips usually means performance gains. Whether or not that trickles down into general uh, operating system uh, performance, I don't know. Like you know, like if you if you ran a phone side by side, a lot of people wouldn't be able to see the difference. There's a new ISP. For, yeah, photos. Faster autofocus in low light. New pixel processing for sharpness and texture. This is their ISP. Hardware multiband noise reduction. Okay. So, better pictures. So, let's talk about the cameras. I've been doing a lot of toy photography uh, on uh, now uh, on Star Wars radar. Love Star uh, that's like my my entire Instagram feed uh, toy photography anyway, but now like it's like one a day I, I usually do it with toy pops. New 12 megapixel sensor. New sensor 80 provides 83% more light and more power efficient at the same time, deeper pixels, new color filter. So better color saturation, wider dynamic range of color, and lower noise. Oh, cool. Microsoft's going to be at Galaxy R. So all new sensors in the 8 and the 8 Plus. So there's an F1.8 uh, uh, and F2.8 apertures in the Plus. So they're showing off pictures, which is impossible to like translate. Like, well, the picture looks great. I'm seeing video compression on my end, so it's like, huh? Okay, it looks better-ish. I don't know. I haven't seen a lot of. I have not honestly seen a lot of huge differences between. To, I success was last year, right? Am I wrong? I've totally forgotten. Shows you how much I care. I mean, like, I care that it works, but. But I didn't see much of a difference even between the 7 Plus and the 6S. Like, I, I, in fact, in many cases, I like the 6S pictures more than the 7. Radically. And the gimmick of, uh, like, portrait mode on the Plus, so not worth paying for. iPhone 8 takes fantastic portrait modes. Well, okay. Now with the iPhone 8 Plus, you get better. I don't know. You know what I like? A 1080p front-facing camera, 1080p uh, at 60 frames per second. That's a, that. That would be a win for me. 4K on the front-facing camera. I don't know. I don't use 4K video though. Lighting. So they're talking about lighting. So this is this is another one of those things that leaked in a rumor. So they're making a software tweak effectively using the new dual camera specifically within a plus model. And this is in the iPhone 8 Plus. It's going to be beta. Or it's currently in beta. It's lighting tweaks. You can pose the photo in portrait mode. So if this works half-assedly as the portrait mode... I don't know. It hasn't been that impressive. 
the, the the edges on every photo I've taken with portrait mode has been um, they've been blurred. It's just not even with s strong contrast, not worth doing. Use portrait mode. Uh, there's a new menu to sh choose the light, the type of light effect that you want to shoot. They're not filters. Real time analysis. So basically, lighting differently. Like contour light, stage light, stage light mono. That's pretty, it's neat if it works. I don't know. Maybe maybe they've improved the camera or the ISP such that it works better on an 8 plus than it might on a 7 plus. It's pretty, I mean, the effects. Theoretically, this works well. But in actuality, I can't tell you how many times that I've, I've like, oh, I'm just going to try it again. And it's... So they, they do it in video? Oh, no, no. They've jumped to the video feature here. Highest quality video capture ever in a smartphone. That doesn't surprise me. It's one of the reasons why I'm using it. Apple designed video encoder. Faster uh, video frame rates. And higher quality video. Real-time image and motion analysis. Okay, so that could be lower fi file sizes. 4K 60 frames per second. That's the front-facing camera. They analyze 2 million tiles per second to predict whether or not the, the that tile has something in it, like movement. So, like, if you're shorting 4K 60 frames per second, it's optimized for quality and compression level. That's what I'm saying, file size. That's kind of crazy. And plus, with their, what is their new Kodak H... What's their new... What's it? H, HVEC? No. A 1080p 240 frames per second, that's a bump. So, if you do the slow motion stuff... Um, it's gone from 720p set to 240 frames per second. Now that's for the this out this this camera. Now there's a third category that's going to become increasingly important. He says, and that's AR. All right. So what do you got? What do you got, Phil? What you got? Hardware and software working together. We're talking. We're still talking iPhone 8. The first iPhone created for augmented reality. We'll see if we still see the. Custom tune each iPhone for augmented reality. New gy uh, gyroscope and accelerometer. Accurate motion tracking. Okay. A11 Bionic chip? That's what they're calling it, the Bionic. I missed it if I had talked over myself there. I apologize. ISP does real-time lighting estimation. This is crazy, man. I mean, cool. That's So now they're going to show off what people are doing with AR apps. The games in AR, <laughs> this is pretty wild. If if it if it plays as well on this new hardware, if it plays better, At bat for MLB, so sports thing. That, that looks pretty cool. You can see real-time player information on top of the game that you're watching, like in real time. <laughs> that's, that's a little crazy. Sky Guide has AR kit. Yeah, like I said, I, I, I was talking about AR back in 2009. That video's still up. So they're going to say, they're going to do a demo of AR, for AR, their AR kit. See, honestly, I think a lot of that implementation with the herky-jerkiness, I mean, it's not just the lack of integration between hardware and software, it's just a poor software implementation. 
So I'm hoping that AR kit will improve everybody's effort. So they're talking about a like an MMORPG in real time in augmented reality. I mean, it looks clean. Like the experience. I wish it would be a little smoother though, right? You know, because there's enough hand jitter like when you're holding on to something like this. Especially with a bigger screen like a tablet, which I think would be amazing with AR. Not only would your arms get heavy, but just the, the jittery nature of it. It's an interesting way of experiencing anything. But all the more reason that you'd be inclined... I mean, I guess for AR, you know, the difference between the two... Um, the uh you know the bigger the bigger screen you have the the you know the more you're going to be able to see at any any one time i mean the the gra the, the textures or the graphics in the game that they're showing are they do look spectacular no wait it's a real time strategy game It, the the object or the, the the actual objects themselves the augmented reality objects aren't necessarily jittering around as much as the person who's holding the phone which does make me a bit concerned that there's not enough uh, s smoothing or stabilization going on oh spatial audio i mean that that's something that this app developer surfaced so as you get closer to an object it is louder pretty immersive you know i i i uh i predict a lot of broken bones in the future like people doing this walking around and then they hit something they knock into something they fall over they crack their knee so are they using an iphone 8 then they must be compelling for people who like games It'd be interesting to see a Civil War uh, battle reenactments or any kind of reenactments that way. Yeah, so those games are going to be coming down the pike soon enough. Now, let's talk about wireless, is what Phil says. Punxsutawney Phil, of course. The future is wireless. It takes courage to be wireless. Supports LTE Advanced, Bluetooth 5. So, inductive charging. This was, a again, a rumor. Boy, that's a big-ass inductive charging plate there, Phil. Why does it have to be white? I got a black device. Why not make a black plate? And could you please integrate the watch one, too? So, inductive charging. Yeah, and the, the, what's the speed of the charging, though? Yeah, get rid of cables, man. I'm so tired of cables. Because <laughs> I don't have to charge this, you know. I don't want to charge it. Oh, so they're using Qi. Like QI. Creating new use cases for it. Oh, they're like places that will have inductive charging plates. How secure is that though? I, I don't I don't trust plugging my phone into a strange charger. Why would I
Yeah, Mophie's in. Yeah. I like Mophie's. I've been solid with Mophie. This is my primary computer, so. Oh yeah, so they're really talking up uh, the iPhone eight. Let's let's hear about the the next thing that everyone's wanting to hear about. So now they're talking about configs. iPhone eight is going to start at sixty four. Or be two fifty six. Six ninety nine. I, I mean, it's a solid update. I wouldn't say that it's like. That's an iPhone eight, seven ninety nine starting at iPhone eight plus. You can pre order September fifteenth. Available on September twenty second. And you can upgrade to iOS 11 on the 19th, so this week. That is iPhone 8. I'd like to turn it back to Tim. <sighs> huge step forward, Tim. What are you talking about? How is that a huge step forward? But we're not stopping there. One more thing. I'm guessing this is the that 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 I the iPhone that's been rumored forever. Yeah, this is when we're gonna see about this is what we're gonna see about the new iPhone here. The new I mean, when I say iPhone eight being a new iPhone, if if this is the next one, the future of the smartphone is what they say. Here we go. So is it going to be iPhone 10 or iPhone X? At which point you wonder what would happen with 9. Is it was it OS 10 or OS? It was OS 10, but now it's Mac OS. <clears throat> so they're about to reveal it. So we'll see here. Getting our first official look. At the uh, next gen of iPhone devices, iPhone eight seems seems like it's it's ample. It's a question of what will this other iPhone have to offer above and beyond that. I know if it if it does have better stuff in it, how much better? What kind of departure would we have seen specifically from uh, the current series of iPhones? Looks sleek, clean. I mean, it's an iPhone. I'm not... Oh, there's that fugly notch. Everyone else is applauding. iPhone X. That's what it's called. Okay, I'm fine with the name. That notch. iPhone 10. Sorry, great. iPhone 10. Biggest leap forward with that notch. Like a stubby dick. It's all screen. You sure about that, Phil? Because you got that notch there at the top. You're lying. Display fits edge to edge, top to bottom, rounded corners. Glass on the front and the back. Yeah, it it, it it always looks sleek, but why? That notch is just what else would you call it like iPhone 10 has a new display 
called Super Retina Display. Things just weren't sharp enough before. Ugh! Oh god, that looks horrible! Look at the spacing of those icons! Am I seeing that right? That's ghastly! Four hundred and fifty eight pixels per inch. Are you serious? So it's OLED, which is fine. I, I like my OLED screen on the watch. And no backlight, basically. So. So they're effectively going to pack into the screen great contrast, high, uh, re high resolution, thinness with OLED, but adding other be benefits like color accuracy and brightness. Supports HDR in both HDR10 and Dolby Vision. Fantastic ratio. But that notch... More fluid experience? Talk to me, Phil. Yeah, of course, there's no button, but now it's it's going to be face, re face recognition. But what if you don't... Uh, I have a question. I'd imagine they'd address this, but what if you, you're you looking at it, but you don't want to unlock it? When you want to go to the home screen, you swipe up from the bottom, and then you're home. God, the padding on that is just disgusting. It's so crammed. Yeah, but... But look at the incongruent spacing, dude. Phil, that's too jammed. See, when it's black up across the top, it's fine. But, like, when the notch stands out, it's horrific. There's there's no there's no other word. And he's showing general uh, platform navigation. So the side button is going to be one of your invoking uh, options. So you unlock with your face. It's you know I don't know if I necessarily missed the uh, the the button, but the button the the, the button you know as, as long as I could use it just got used to using it I'd be fine with it but it's the question of that notch is any one of you out there actually fascinated by it? you think that's good and then they jam those icons the the battery looks gigantic, and the uh, um, they they just squish them together. Yeah, they're talking about Face ID being the recognizer instead of your fingerprint. Yeah, but look at the, look look like they they got the uh, the signal the signal bars and the the strength and everything they're just crammed in together. Incongruent. You know. I would just assume, uh, but it's Apple. 
Why not just make it go all the way across, dude? It's got an infrared camera now. Flood illuminator. Dot projector. Etc. But it isn't. What you... You've got that flanking... So basically they're creating a mathematical model of your face. Uh, yeah, I don't know, dude. That that bar, the dick bar. What would you call what would you call that notch at the the top? You know, the dick bar? What is that? Okay, I, that, that's not, it's not, let me, on the surface, it's not compelling enough for me outright. N not compelling. Show, show, you know, what are the benefits? Because, man, that is just. I thought Apple was supposed to be good with design. I gotta tweet that. That is just, wow, that's disgusting. See, when, when that top area is just blackened out, it's fine. But when, when, when it, when it isn't, it's just, ugh. So what 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 else have they improved in this X or ten model? So it could it could you can't spoof it is what they're saying with this face ID. Like with masks or photos. It's not just a gimmick. Which is fine. If, if it works, cool. On-device processing requires user attention to unlock. So you have to be looking at the phone in order for it to unlock. So they're talking about security. Data has been 1 in 50,000 for Touch ID, like, in terms of a, a failure. So Face ID will be 1 in a million. See, that's impressive. That's a nice benefit. Not that Touch ID has ever been an issue. Like, for, for a random person to... to no one can unlock the phone with their face, effectively. They're like an identical twin, or an evil twin, as they posted.
Oh, hold it near the terminal to pay. But, like, what if you want to confirm? Like, that's what I'm saying. But, ah, oh, that top bar it looks so bad. The vertical line at the bottom doesn't bother me, but... So, but, I, like, what if I'm on a page and it says, buy this, and then I'm looking, and I'm like, no, I don't want to buy it, and then it buys it, right? I mean, where's the authentication beyond just, like, look, I mean, you gotta look at the screen. Because, like, you know, you put your thumb, you know, your print on the sensor, and then it does it. But, oh, that top bar, so effing disgusting. Okay. Animated emojis controlling with your face. That looks cool. A little gimmicky, but I'm sure kids will love it. Maybe adults. Wow. These animated movies, okay, it's gimmicky. It's very gimmicky, but that's pretty damn cool. Turn yourself into a cartoon, basically talk, and then it mirrors all your facial expressions. I have facial expressions. And they're just talking about iPhone 10. Uh... See, that top bar, man, it just looks so bad. Looking at it and swiping up. Your passcode is required to enable Face ID. There you go, Craig. Yeah, and get right in. He says it like it was smooth as silk, but the demo didn't work with his face. But that top area, dude. Oh. <laughs> so you swipe up to close out an app to get to the home screen. But that top area is so nasty ass. And the, it's just, it's obvious. It just jumps out at you. Especially when you're looking at a photo. It's a dick bar. But then you got that, that notch. What the hell are they smoking? But it doesn't! You've got a notch! That looks horrific! So now you can flip between apps with a swipe. That is convenient. Swipe down from your status indicators. Can you turn off status indicators? Cause that looks horrible, dude. God, even when you even when you can't see that junk. Even when you can't see it. Like, look at... You're looking at a video and you got this 
freaking notch. What are they saying about this? I can't be the only one who's just disgusted, appalled. God, it's bad enough they've slopped with the software. Now they're slopping with the hardware, too. So AR kit has face tracking. This is where I get worried because if it's a better AR experience. Uh, the tracking is better because of the IR. The an emoji here. I I don't mind the curved I don't mind the curved nature of of the UI around the edges, but that top bar area, man. So you can you can make a sticker instantaneously. Wow, dude, he's talking, and he's talking as the monkey, and it's in real time. That is crazy. Like, you know how, think about how, that's amazing. The Animoji is amazing. That is insane. Like, animated movies have been done like this, like, but not anywhere near, like, real-time tracking on a consumer-grade device. That is spectacular. That software is spectacular. An animated poo. <laughs> it's gimmicky, but man, that's... You can record messages. And then it plays it back in real... God, that is crazy. Can you... Okay, that video. Can you export it? Oh, that's crazy. It, it's so crazy, it made me forget about that crappy dick bar at the top of the iPhone's uh, screen. Oh, Tim gets it. He comes back with an alien? Hang on, hang on. It's pretty cool. <laughs> See, it's the small things. You didn't think I'd get excited. That that was kind of exciting there. Don't know if it'd be worth a price justification just for that, but... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Is it any faster than the iPhone 8? Because right now, my, my, my bets are on the 8. Right now. Let's see here. Now they're talking about the cameras. 10 has dual cameras. Faster sensor. New color filter. Deeper pixels. Just like iPhone 8 is what he said. Deeper pixels. F1.8 aperture on wide angle. And a faster F2.4 on telephoto. So what, how's that compared to the 8 though? I gotta look that up. The 8 plus I should say. Dual optical image stabilization. Okay, so that's an advantage. Uh. Better quad LED true tone flash, 2x better uniformity of light. This is we're talking about the iPhone 10. But how does it compare to the 8? That's the thing. 
I mean, no doubt. I mean, I'm sure they're great photos, but like, how does it? How is it going to make everything better? Is it? Does it? Advanced shutter lag. So it does have better optical image stabilization over the 8. It says better video stabilization as well. It says iPhone iPhone 10, like their new portrait mode features. So the, the question is, is how well does it, the front facing camera has it, but does that rear facing camera have that support? like in terms of being able to better detect objects. So it's better tuned for AR applications. Okay. See, I think it's spec'd out the same way, like in terms of the processor. You know, the front side camera. I use that frequently enough, not just for not for selfies necessarily video. True depth camera on the front front facing. So you can take portrait mode photos with selfies now. And portrait lighting. In real time too. That's and that's only the selfie camera with those effects are only on the ten, not the eight. I just don't like how it fudges the details. Still, yeah, powered by the A11 Bionic. So it's the same thing. It's it's the same processor, effectively. You know the. So like speed wise, it's not going to perform any better. Cameras are going to get a slight nudge. Don't know if it's that much better, though. That much. Or certainly worth the price discrepancy, depending on the price discrepancy. $100, maybe. 200 So, battery life. They didn't even talk about battery life on the, um, on the 8. It says the 10 will last two more hours than the iPhone 7. That is likely in relation to the OLED screen. Wireless, just like iPhone 8, 10, also has inductive charging. But that bar, uh... So they're giving a sneak peek for an idea, something that's not going to launch, but they got multiple devices charging, multiple Apple devices, of course. That's what I'm saying. Give us a plate where you can just charge everything all at once. That's what I need. So they've got a charging pad, effectively. A mat. Series 3 Apple Watch, so it has to be a Series 3 Apple Watch in order to do that. AirPods. With a wireless charging case on it, so you can get your three products that can wirelessly charge on the plate. Or mat, or whatever they're going to call it. That's, that's a good thing. The fact that it's white, though, why is it everything got to be white? Not possible with current standards, but they're going to move the ball forward. They're calling it air power. I like... 
I like it. I mean, I'd, I'd probably adopt it if only because I have that the Apple Watch charger. It's just kind of like it just sticks out like a sore thumb. Next year is when they're gonna reveal that, which means don't rush out and upgrade anything outright. Uh, uh. They they created a new video for it. Okay, what? Okay, what, I got. I almost want to get on Twitter. What are people thinking about this? I really want to know. Ah. Uh. They're probably just talking about the specs. I guarantee it. Most people. Just don't talk about anything that's relevant. Like, what? what is this? The, the, the bar at the top. No, everyone's just rolling through the general announcements. I'm not seeing anybody saying anything about it. There's well, there's really no name for this damn notch. Hang on. Is it like I iPhone what would you call it? The notch. Yeah, it looks like Marquez Brownlee agrees with me. I'm not seeing it. Yeah, let's see, yeah, I think I'll just upgrade my iPhone 6S with a higher storage iPhone 7 than an iPhone 8 or Met X. That black notch at the top. Yeah, people are not liking it. A lot of people. Wow, a lot of people are not happy with the notch. Yeah, I'm just, I'm scrolling through the Twitter comments here. Yeah, on iPhone X, I hate the notch. Very distracting. Very distracting. I can't describe how much I hate this. Yeah, face value, iPhone 10 is basically iPhone 8 with a weird notch, super retina, and no bezels. That's true. Yeah, top notch on the iPhone 10 isn't awful until you put it in landscape mode. Can't believe they don't adjust screen content to account for it. Never mind, iPhone 8 sales are going to be out the roof because the notch is so fucking bad. That's not me. That's uh, I'm just quoting someone. Stream kind of paused or went away. Still rolling? It says it's live. Apple doesn't like me. Did it, Did everybody else just lose the stream? Hit refresh here. It was in the middle of the, the commercial. Oh, yeah, I guess I lost it then. So the consensus seems to be, what's up with the notch? These demo photos from iPhone 10 should show the notch too. That's right. I, uh. Yeah, that ugly notch on the top of the iPhone 10. Steve Jobs never would have let that happen. Priced it, and they're going to charge you more for it. You can pre-order on October 27th. I'm honestly, I'm feeling I'm going to skip that one, dude. That notch is just junk. The notch is hideous. Ugh.
This is just in the past few minutes, that notch, and there's no other... Uh, yeah, I'm done. I, I think, I think it'll be an 8 plus for me. I, I, I'm sorry, I, the, 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 uh, we're gonna be winding down anyway, but the, the, the stream keeps crapping out on me. I skate to where the puck is gonna be, not where it has been. This notch is gonna be the iPhone X's undoing. I'm telling you, dude. Ugh. Uh, and it keep this thing the stream keeps crapping out on me hopefully i'm not crapping out apart from the iphone 10 phoned it in that notch is phoning it in design team around the iphone 10 notch is phoning it in literally Hashtag Apple event. If it's the future, you can have the future. I'll stick with the past. If the iPhone 10 top notch is the future, I'll stick with the past for now. Hashtag. You can, you're hearing me tweet in real time. Apple event. They're playing a commercial anyway. I think they're about done. The iPhone 10 notch is the future. I'll stick with the past for now. Ugh. Yikes. Ugh. And I'm searching just for notch. I mean, there's some tweets coming in, man. iPhone 10 notch is the new camera bump. It's way worse than the camera bump. Ugh. It's god awful. That, honestly, that's seriously, it, it, it's horrible, dude. That is. That's a. I can't imagine any designer seeing that and being impressed. Oh, it's so disgusting. It's horrible. The iPhone 10 display notch is the new camera bump. Yep, exactly. Uh uh, and seriously, I, I, the, the, the stream, I can reload the pages since the stream is crapping out. Well, this kind of makes it easier for my decision. <laughs> I'm going back to Star Wars, folks. <laughs> like, see you on Star Wars Radar. Follow Star Wars Radar on Twitter. Follow Star Wars Radar on YouTube. Star Wars Radar on Facebook. We actually have a Facebook group you can join if you're a Star Wars fan. Uh, we're, we're on all the social platforms. If I could come up with a good Star Wars meme for that notch bar, whatever the hell they're calling it, I'm, there's no way I'm getting that. There's no, it would annoy the, shh. the camera bump never annoyed me. Never annoyed me. Seriously, the video keeps, it's, it's, I, I think I'm done with the video. I think that's gotta be it, right? Let me check YouTube. Am I the only one that, that's having problems with this video here? Not to mention this damn Hang on. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to keep Jedi from playing with those animated emoji for now, because there's no way I'm spending the money on that for that. No way. This is horrible. Um. Yeah, even Earl's with me on this one. Although, you know, he, he kind of plays like me. You know, he just looks for what's good for him. Uh, yeah, Earl says, I think Steve would be hurling right now if you saw the iPhone 10. Oh, just count me in on... This is my reaction to the notch. I, in fact, I'm just going to... What I'm going to do after this is all wrapped up, I'm going to do a video of, of my reaction to the to the iPhone 10 notch. And it's just going to be silence for like a minute. Like, I'm going to I'm going to do that after we wrap up, so you can tune into that one. Cause that's that's what it boils down to for me. Like, how? Who thought this was a good idea? Now maybe will you start listening to me when I tell you that Apple doesn't know what they're doing with design? Is it not clear enough with you? 
This notch is exact. It's the uh, it's the perfect culmination point of every problem they've had with iOS. They don't care. This is a slap in the face, man. I'm angry because I do care, and I'm angry because that's not Steve. That that's not what Steve would. I I want to say it. There's no way. There's no way in hell Steve would made this fly. Ain't no way in hell. Mm mm. No way. No way. I refuse to believe it. And now the the the, the event seems that it's 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 possibly wrapped, but it was crapping out on me anyway. So I'm gonna end it anyway. I don't care if, if they go on for another hour talking about other stuff. You'll have to go somewhere else, but. I'm going to do a reaction video right now. You can join me if you want. I won't do it live, but this this video will be public. Now everybody knows my reaction. To, let me see. That notch. That notch. They don't care about iOS. They don't care. That's indicative of the, the lack of quality control and the lack of attention to design and finer, finer details. What the f... I used to look forward to these events. I used to get excited, had problems sleeping. Are, are, are they are they making fun of us? Are they are they saying we can just throw crap out there and and people will buy it anyway? I'm sure people will, cause it's the it thing. I'm not feeling it. Barely feeling the iPhone eight. This is how I feel about iOS. This is how I felt about... If you feel about that notch, if you feel strongly about that notch, that's how I've felt about iOS since iOS 7. You live with it for a few years and see how angry you get. And see how disenfranchised you become. You know, I love Star Wars. And there's a reason I love Star Wars. It just doesn't disappoint. It doesn't disappoint me. It knows what it is. You got me a present? You got some presents for me? Jedi's saying that. What'd you get? Well, you can't. Hang on. You can't say that and then not bring it. Well, I can't come down. I'm doing a live stream. Hun? Apparently, I have gifts. Presents. Uh, what do you mean? I heard a crumpled bang. Uh-oh. What? It dropped? Well, what is it? <laughs> as far as I know, this is going to be anticlimactic. It's going to be like something like bananas. All right. Um, I'm out. I'm going to record a reaction video to the notch. <laughs> it's going to be a minute long. And it's going to be me just doing this. The whole, th uh, just like. Okay. I love you. I appreciate you. Uh, if you do want to become a patron, I am going to do my best to, to continue that uh, uh, set sharing tech advice and perspectives to the patrons on chrisperlow.com. I also have creatoradvocate.com for more professional businessy uh, types of advice, including uh, potentially using technology for your business and how you can better do it. Um, uh, geekfamilyfun.com still rolling forward, and I've mentioned Star Wars Radar uh, throughout. So I was so disgusted by the notch, I didn't even get around to opening my Thrawn. And it was a plan. I, I wanted to play with my Thrawn. This doesn't disappoint. This will never disappoint. I'm talking about this figure. It's, this is a thing of beauty. Imagine if this figure had a notch in the top of its head, man. Yes? You know what someone needs to do? They need to, like, do, f like, a photo filter, like, where you're, the top of your head, it, the new selfies on the... The iPhone camera, like, have a little notch at the top of your... You see what I'm saying? Like, they just kind of Photoshop someone's head taken with the iPhone X camera. <laughs> Trust me, dude. This is not going to play well. That's my feeling. Ain't playing well with me. Uh, hopefully you had fun. As much fun as I did. Trudging through this set of announcements, only to be disgusted by the notch. Uh, I love you.
I appreciate you. And at this point, I'm going to leave you to your own devices. Oh, he thought I was going to say, may the force be with you. Well, I just did. Okay, I said, 